Hello everyone, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this deep learning playlist. So today's topic is going to be on AN and intuition in that we have some five different sub points to uh, cover. In this particular video, we shall be talking about the basic concepts on neuron and in the upcoming videos, we shall be talking about activation functions, how neural network works and learns, gradient descent and stochastic and backpropagation. So let's get started. What is a neuron? Now, as I told, deep learning basically mimics how human brain works. And we know that uh, way back in our school days, we knew that human brain consists of neurons, right? So today's topic is all about neuron. So which is one of the basic building block. So we shall be learning about what is a neuron and what is the basic formula behind it. And we shall also understand what is the concept of weights which is being assigned to each and every neuron. So we'll talk about that. So after this end of this uh, session, maybe you'll have a good understanding on these basic concepts, right? So neuron, as I already told, it's a basic building block. Okay. Now, if you look at this particular example, you can see that the inputs, the inputs are nothing but the features. How many features do we have? Let's say we have N features. That means X1, X2, X3. Now features mean basically the independent variables, right? Let's say in Chan prediction, uh, contract type, gender, geography, all these are my features, all these are my inputs. Now, these inputs are being passed and you can see there is an weights assigned to each and every network. Let me redraw it so that we understand the basics. Now you can see that, now for example, I want to build a uh, image based classification model. Let's say I have features like tail size, eye size, uh, something else, something else. And I'm dealing with a image classification problem between cats, dogs and horses. Okay, let's say I have four to five different features. Now, let's say I'm not making it complex, will not create hidden layers. So what I will do is I will create one neuron here. So this is going to be one neuron. And from this neuron, there will be three outputs, right? Because it's a tertiary classification. So there will be three different lines. If it's single uh, binary classification, it's going to be one, one output. Either it is cat or dog, either it is one or zero, either it is Y or N, right? So here, now let's say we feed a image to this particular model. So our output will be, if it's a horse, it will be something like this, 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. That means our image is a horse, right? I'm sorry for this particular diagram. There is some, I mean, my handwriting is not that great, but it's okay. Just for understanding purpose. So this is my neuron. Now what happens is in, in a neural network, we try to understand which features are important. Because as I told, feature selection, feature extraction, and feature engineering, all the processes happen within the neurons within the hidden layers here as part of hidden layers we just have one neuron this is my hidden layer this is my input layer and this is my output layer right so in my hidden layer here just to reduce the complexity i have taken only one neuron now how does this neuron identify which are the most important features let's say this is my tail size this is my eye size this is my, sorry, eye size. This is my uh, nose size. And there are various other features based on which an animal can be classified, right? So just imagine that way. Now, how does, let's say, tail size and eye size is very important. So apart, apart so these two will be very important and these will be less important features. I would mark it as orange. These would be less important features. Now, how do we define that particular thing? How does the neuron decide? What happens is there is a, there is weights assigned with each and every features or each and every connection. So let's say I'll mark it as W1, W2, W3, W4, and W5. 
as this is a single neuron network so i'm not able to explain you properly but i will also explain using one more example just imagine we have multiple weights associated with uh, each and every connection now what is a weight let's go back to the slide okay i haven't mentioned about weight okay weights are the parameters within a neural network that transforms input data with the neural network hidden layers neural networks is basically a series of nodes or neurons right within each node is a set of input weight and bias that we already know right bias is also associated with classical machine learning models now weight you can imagine in that way weight basically means or represents the strength of the connection between units now unit means let's say this is my one unit and this is my another unit so how the connection is done and how strong is the connection probably as i told these are the most important features and these are the second priority features and these are the third priority feature just assuming so obviously w1 will be very high w2 will also be high w3 might be lesser than w1 and w2 and something like this just just a illustration right so weights basically means or basically represents the strength of the connection between units so here what happens is this is how the formula looks like from i equals to 0 to n now i means how many weights are assigned right how many neurons do we have wi into xi xi means i'm just assuming this as x1 x2 x3 till xn okay so that's the reason i have done this way now on top of this there is another step there is a second step where an activation function is associated with it so the formula changes from this to this wi xi and there is a activation formula to it now what is an activation function i'll talk about that in the next slide in the next uh, video okay but just imagine our this is how the equation looks like y equals to theta theta means my activation function it could be any activation function we'll learn about that summation of wi xi i equals to 0 to n plus bias okay this is how the equation of a neural network looks like okay so in the next video we shall be learning about activation function now just giving you a jinx or some idea about activation functions activation function basically means how to activate which neurons to activate which neurons not to activate based on some criteria as we define that now activate means that neuron or that weight assigned is basically uh, in priority or the weight is high or the neuron is more important something like it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a feature selection process you can say but not very relatable okay just imagine some neurons are activated and some are not activated based on that we design or we uh, assign the weights so how the neurons are activated and not we will talk about that in the next slide okay so stay tuned guys uh, please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, yeah keep liking thank you guys